another day another challenge but what is Nimesha gonna do in this challenge video so I am going to be applying rice water on my face for seven days straight I don't have any new breakouts oh my god it's so cold oh my god it's so cold If you know, you know, if you are an OG viewer, if that makes sense, you already know I did the rice water challenge for my hair already. This is the video over here. If you have not watched that already, go watch it. I am going to be applying rice water on my face for seven days straight. Not only did I actually think about this idea, but you guys recommended it to me. So you know what? I had to do it. There are so many benefits of rice water we all know the drill what are the benefits of rice water for skin skin lightening now there is a big difference between skin whitening and skin lightening skin lightening basically means um, you remove your tan you remove any hyperpigmentation and your skin tone just just becomes equal on the other hand whitening is basically changing your skin tone that is not what I'm promoting in this channel Helps with damaged skin, get rid of any rashes, inflammation, gets rid of sun damage, and so many other benefits of rice water. Now you can make your rice water in three different ways. Boiling the rice water, soaking rice water, and fermented rice water. So the method that I will be using is boiling rice water. So let me show you guys how I'm gonna make my rice water. The first thing you're gonna need is a bowl or whatever is shaped like a bowl to rinse your rice in and then you're gonna add a half a cup or a full cup of any type of rice of your choice basmati, jasmine rice, brown rice, what, whatsoever so you're going to rinse your rice in this bowl to remove any type of impurities or dirt that's in the rice before you move along then drain the dirty rice water out I personally like to do this twice or thrice just to make sure everything is out then you're gonna add double the water again and cook your rice like how you normally would. After it's done cooked, strain the rice water and add it into a mason jar. First, I'm going to start off by removing my makeup. I use the micellar makeup remover by Nivea. I use a cotton pad and get rid of all the makeup. I like to go over this twice just to make sure everything is off my face. Then I move on to washing my face. I use a Belarusian brand called Secret Life and then I wash my face thoroughly. And I also like to just tap my face with a towel so that it's not very harsh for my skin. I store my rice water for about seven days in the fridge in this little bottle. I put the rice water on a cotton pad and apply it all over my face and leave it for about 15 to 25 minutes. After it's dried up, I use a facial oil on my face without using any other skincare products and I go to bed. So today is day one. As you can see, I have like a little bit redness over here and some parts over here. Also, my skin does look very, very pale. Also, excuse my red eye. Um, I just have an allergic reaction. I've got my rice water. First, you're just gonna have to make sure to shake it. There's a pin there's pimples here and pimple scars over here. Few moments later. Okay, so I am done with day one. I have no idea why my face looks like this right now. My face is very soft. But in the first few minutes of applying this, my face was extremely, extremely, extremely dry. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, you guys. So it's currently day two. And here is my skin. Ugh, oh, my neighbor. I still have a little redness over here and here and also my eye. It's an allergic reaction. And also my scars and pimples are all this all still the same the only difference was that my face wasn't dry when i woke up this morning so let's get started with this
So I'm just gonna wait for this to dry and I will get back to you guys. Okay, so it's finally dried. The only thing I can say is that my face is getting a little softer. My face is not crusty and dry in the morning, that's it. Uh, my pimple scars and redness and everything is still the same pretty much. Hi hey guys, so it's already day three. I got my rice water. Do not forget to shake before you use it. As you can see, there is still no difference. Also, what I want to say is one thing that I noticed is that my skin has definitely changed a little bit. And when I say changed, I mean my makeup applies more smoothly and the bumps in my skin, like the one over here, is a little more softer. Like, it only appears like a little pimple, but it's sort of gone now. I apply my makeup, it does not look all cakey or bumpy. Oh my god, it's so cold. I only made this rice water once and I'm storing this in the refrigerator a few moments later So it's all dried up. It dries up like within 10 to 15 minutes But I like to just keep it for about 20 to 30 minutes so that it all sort of gets in my skin So I'm just gonna apply my facial oil I'm not following my other skincare routine. I'm just taking the rice water and using the facial oil. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So it is day four. I don't I don't really have the energy right now to get the ring light and show you guys, but I can tell that I am breaking out in my T-zone. I will insert a picture later. I'm having small pimples over here. Not not pimples, but they're like bumps. Applied it all over my face. I don't know if you guys could see it like there's like a bump over here and little bumps over here and one over here These scars are sort of fading away and Again, my skin is getting lighter. I've told you guys once already. I do not promote um, Skin whitening products. I'm just doing this for experimental purposes. My face is usually warm like I have a very warm tone as you can see but I have realized that it's sort of turning cool for some reason I will see you guys tomorrow Hi guys, so it is day 6 and here's my skin As you can see um I don't see a difference. I did wake up with a pimple over here. I'm not sure if you could see that. A pimple over here, but right now it's gone. But when I woke up, it was there. These are the two facial oils that I use. The Satana and and the ordinary hi guys so today is the last day you can see there is no big difference it's the last day but what i can say is that i did wake up with very soft skin i have very mixed feelings about what's happening but one thing i can assure you is that during this challenge i did not break out the only one time that i did have like a pimple was because i was ovulating and i don't have any new breakouts because of rice water so that's a good thing unlike the lemon challenge day and i feel like my scars have faded just a little bit but like there is no major difference like how people have been hyping it up on youtube I do have a lot of rice water still left, so I'll probably use this for my hair tomorrow. Also, is it just me or I might be wrong, but I feel like my dark circles have gotten better as well. My experience, my personal opinion, etc., all those things, I will not continue to do this. This is not something that I would like to continue because I don't see major results. Although I do understand that it takes a lot of time for my skin to change, my skin needs to adapt to it, all those things. But I feel like I don't have a good feeling about rice water. It is beneficial, it is really good for your skin and your hair, but I personally would not put it in my skincare routine. 
So I am done with the challenge, finally. Doing this rice water challenge, uh, there were only two differences that I saw. One, the redness went away. My face didn't get red during this whole week. Number two, my skin got softer. I would give this challenge a seven out of 10. I don't understand why there's so much hype on the internet about rice water on skin. Rice water on your hair really works wonders. I can guarantee that because I have tried it, it worked good. But rice water on my face didn't really work well. Maybe it was just me, but in my experience, it didn't work for me. So of course, I cannot recommend it to anybody else. Um, it just made my face softer. So if you have dry skin, it's a good one. So that's about it for this video. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like, what are you doing still if you haven't subscribed? And do not forget to follow me on my social media accounts, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.